You're listening to the Daily Sales Tips Podcast, and I'm your host, Scott Ingram. Today's tip comes from Eddie Baez. Eddie was the star of the Sales Success Stories podcast back in episode 79. Thank you, Eddie, for this incredible tip and set of resources. Hi, everyone. This is Eddie Baez with the Daily Sales Tip. First and foremost, my heart goes out to everyone affected by the murder of George Floyd and all of the men and women in America who have lost their lives to police brutality. Like many of you, I am left speechless by the chaos that has ensued over the last few days, and I'm hoping that this tip will bring some support and comfort to those who are struggling to find meaning during these difficult moments. Today's tip is focused on providing the sales community with resources and links that you can use to learn more about what it means to be an ally and how to best support minority groups and people of color in your workplace. After seeing the news and watching the protests on Sunday, I reached out to my team at Ibis World to see how we can best support our colleagues through these difficult moments. The end result was a broader conversation around starting an ERG group, which is an employee resource group, and a black inclusion initiative to both promote diversity and inclusion and provide a safe space for everyone to feel supported. As someone who has never started an ERG group, I started by reaching out to my colleagues at the National Sales Network in New York for advice. NSN is the largest and most diverse sales-specific networking organization in the U.S., and upon hearing their requests, our board members were quick to lend a hand and provide me with guidance. This one conversation led to several with similar organizations and companies to find and combine resources and best practices to address the current climate and the events that have transpired over the murder of George Floyd. Our HR department also reached out to their networks and conducted their own internal research to compile a list of resources to provide our employees who have been affected and to their internal allies at work. Through this discovery process, we decided to host a company-wide meeting to discuss how we can all support each other, our employees of color, and all the minority groups within our organization. To foster a collaborative environment and avoid censorship or creating a forum for public debate, we decided to focus on the same theme of support and guidance for our colleagues as the backdrop for the constructive discussion. We also reached out internally to find people within the organization that were passionate about the group and the topic of diversity and inclusion to help guide the discussions. In order to ensure that our colleagues felt supported at every level of the organization, our CEO stepped up and sent a company-wide address, both empathizing with our colleagues and promoting the Black Inclusion Initiative, while also letting us all know that there was a zero-tolerance policy at every level of the organization for racism and discrimination across the board. Several of our SVPs and senior management also raised their hand to support the cause by providing executive sponsorship for the employee resource group and all affiliated discussions. The meeting is scheduled to provide a moment of silence and a virtual vigil for George Floyd and everyone else we have tragically lost to police brutality. We will be kicking off the meeting with the moderators opening up dialogue around support and what they have done in their communities to help. The meeting will then transition into an open forum discussion about what support looks like and the various tools people are currently leveraging with their families and friends. The meeting will conclude with a list of resources that everyone at the organization can use immediately after the call to show support and learn about the civil rights movements we are currently experiencing. The Black Inclusion Initiative is definitely more than just one meeting, though. And I wanted to emphasize that as a follow-up, we're also scheduled to host additional meetings with the group to create the mission and vision for our ERG and ensure that this resource group extends beyond the recent events and creates a community that will benefit both current and future employees within the organization. If you're unsure about how to help, or if, like me, you're not sure about how to go about starting an ERG group, the following are some productive ways to show your support. You can start by signing a petition. Change.org has several petitions you can sign and actually contribute to. You can donate to organizations like Black Lives Matter and several other civil rights organizations. You can donate to the protester funds to help bail out the folks advocating for change on the front lines. You can promote videos, podcasts, movies, and articles to educate your colleagues about how to support employees of color and other minority groups. You can start a book club and read anti-racism books with your colleagues and loved ones. You can promote civil rights organizations on social media. And if you have a platform, use it, speak up, and provide a voice for those who might not have one. For sales leaders, I challenge all of you to be brave. Speak up and tackle the discussions head on. Provide your employees of color the opportunity to share their feelings, feel uplifted, and overall feel supported by everyone at the organization at every level. For the individual contributors and those passionate about legal reform and equality, I challenge you to raise your hand. 
educate your colleagues and lead by example. It's a difficult time and it does mean a lot more work and, and maybe things that you don't have the answer to just yet, but work through it, be passionate, lead that change. In addition to this tip, I've also included all the resources and links that I have provided and discussed to with Scott over the last few days and wanted to make sure that I shared everything that my colleagues and anyone who I've been speaking to over the last few days has shared with me. I want to end by thanking all of you for listening and for caring about this moment in history. I would also like to say a special thank you to all the brave men and women who are currently on the front lines, peacefully advocating for our civil rights and equality for all in this country. You inspire me, you make me dream, and above all else, you give me hope for a brighter and more equal tomorrow. Thank you for listening. If you ever need more information, Eddie is your man. If you'll click over to dailysales.tips forward slash 505, not only are you going to find links to connect with Eddie, but you're also going to find the most comprehensive set of resources we've shared related to any tip ever. Lots of links, but there's an anti-racism PDF that is particularly good. Thank you again, Eddie, for helping to pull all of this together. Again, you'll find everything at dailysales.tips forward slash 505. Once you've taken action and checked out those resources, be sure to come back tomorrow for another great sales tip. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.